So um, there's a little home office space here. Oh, that's so important. <laughs> yeah, the little home office space. And then this is a really special room that's pretty hard to film, but um, yeah, the powder room is quite a nice space. Oh yeah, that's lovely. I see Again, your camera minute. person trying to stay out of the shop, but that's totally okay. That's Sarah, your fellow <laughs> designer. Hello. <laughs> it's actually a cameo appearance. <laughs>and welcome to the next WL Wednesday. I'm super excited to be joined by Denise Ashmore of Project 22 Design today. Welcome, Denise. Hi, Annika. So nice to have you here. I haven't seen you, uh, like most people, in person yeah. for quite a few months. Yeah. Uh, so tell me how life has been treating you. What's been going on with you? Uh, it's been a whirlwind, really. Um, from the beginning of COVID, we had lots of work going on. And then, of course, everything sort of shut down. Everyone went home, and that was quite sad. And uh, my engineer husband moved into the office, which was even more confusing. Sure. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure. So it was, yeah, friends, family, and everybody else kind of working in the same space and uh, trying to keep everything going with um, clients that were working remotely and Right. and uh, projects that were well underway. So it's been a really, it was really challenging at the beginning and a little, of course, shaky and uncertain as to what was going to happen. Yeah, and that's but, a challenge uh, not everybody thinks about is the fact that you've got clients, especially if you're renovating, you have clients that are often in the space working from home and need to balance their Zoom calls with your jackhammers or anything like that in a way that yeah. you wouldn't have had to before. Yeah, just so many balls in the air. Um, like. Yeah, we had new new builds that were just completing, like the one that we're in today. Uh, so they happily got through all of the construction parts and are still working through the furniture that's been happening since, you know, the beginning of this year. Um, uh, other clients, you know, had just started framing at the beginning, you know, under major projects. So those took a little longer than we thought, but um, they're very much uh, now completing just as they as they would have just probably, you know, four months later. <laughs> sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And now are you guys back in your workspace again? Or is everyone still working mm -hmm. remotely? Yeah, we did. We decided to um, bring the team back together. It was it just works better. And because the laneway is sort of a separate building, I could kind of designate that. So yeah, um, yeah. so very much, you know, hand sanies and, you know, trying to keep the um, environment as clean as possible. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, business started to pick up and things got busier and busier. Um, we've hired uh, a new junior, Mackenzie, who joined us in the summer. And, um, and then I've just hired another designer, actually, who's starting on Monday. So wow, amazing. yeah, things kind of went from like, everything fell off a cliff to everything just went crazy. <laughs> right. And, yeah. yeah. And you mentioned laneway. Not everyone will know that you have, you designed a specific laneway for your office space a couple of years yeah. ago when you built your yeah. new home. Yeah. So it's about 325 square feet with a separate bathroom and, um, and then nice big wide open doors. So, you know, we were meeting clients outside and suppliers outside in the sort of outdoor boardroom, I'll call it. Okay. Uh, so that was working really well. Um, now that the weather's turned, it's getting a little more challenging. So uh, we've actually, Cantu has been really helpful. They've uh, allowed me to have a few meetings in their meeting spaces with masks with my clients and we're going there to do tours of um, and look at plumbing anyway. So using their space to do some presentations in the oh. in this kind of transitional time has been su I'm super grateful for. Yeah, that's super interesting because they have such a large sort of almost warehouse space. Of course, it's designed yeah. up, but for their bathroom facilities, that's great that they're offering that up as a yeah. meeting space. I don't know if they're offering as much as I sure. asked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone will be watching this and be like, can I sign yeah. up? Can I sign up? I might <laughs> totally have just a nightmare for them. Yeah, no, I'm sure. And I mean, there's lots of ways that the design community, I think, is really rallying around each other. And that's a really nice example of that. Yeah. So yeah. that's how we're trying to get through as I sort of look for a new office space and try and figure out what's next for the company as we're growing. We're trying to keep everybody in-house and we're all being as careful as we can. 
um, with contact tracing anybody that we've heard of who's been infected or even tested. So we're doing our best to, you know, mitigate any risks at all as much as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. And so what have you been doing? Um, what, are, what have been some of your inspirations right now? I often ask people sort of like, we have less travel right now. We have maybe yeah. less contact with other people than we would like. What, how are you keeping yourself inspired and feeling like you're doing the work you want to do? Yeah, I think um, our clients are coming to us. New clients are coming with great ideas and inspiration, books that they've um, collected or images that they've sourced online. And then collaboratively, you know, their energy is quite inspiring for us. I would say it's kind of, it's, um, it's exciting to work with people that are, you know, really into their project. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll bet. I know I was talking with Jillian Siegel a few weeks ago and she mentioned that she has, you mentioned books. She's been really kind of diving into books because she really appreciates it as a break from screen time. So to yeah. have that kind of tactile, physical, looking at beautiful images that aren't on the computer because we're so much on yeah. our computers right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's so much more zooming and so much more computer time that uh, definitely looking at printed material, oddly enough, like everything else is kind of dialed back in the world. It feels like yeah. also it just seems like a, the slower pace of life and, you know, working, looking at books and things like that is, yeah, yeah. it's been great. So helpful. Great. Mm -hmm. And so uh, where are you right now? I am at a client's home in Kitsilano. Um, we've worked on this house for uh, about two years. It completed at the beginning of 2020. So okay. really, I think they moved in February. Okay. Um, oh, so yeah. just under the wire. That's nice that they got in when they did. <laughs> yeah. We call this one P22D, the uh, tree house. So oh. for obvious reasons, when I give you a tour, you'll see it's um, very shrouded and beautiful, big evergreens out front. And um and the house is just a beautiful dark box. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit? We'll go on a little tour, but tell me a little bit about. So it's treehouse. It's a new build. Yeah. Um, what was some of the things the clients were looking for in this space? They were quite specific. They, um, uh, Jason uh, is a developer, and so he had, you know, he'd done a lot of research himself and came to us. You know, he wanted a black kitchen, for instance, which you'll see. Uh, the layout of the space was very, um, it's quite uh, similar to some of the other builds, but it's a little flipped around and that the kitchen dining are aligned on the same side of the house. Uh, other, than that, other than that, he was pretty open with us. I mean, he wanted a warm, but like cool and crisp interior uh, with really um, great materials and, um, and really well executed, which I think he, he got. Okay. Well, yeah. great. why don't we start taking a little bit of a view around the space then? You have a great uh, Zoom background right now. Everyone's trying to make sure mm -hmm. we have a good Zoom background. Exactly. We're looking on the staircase. Tell me a little bit about the screen that you've installed there. Yeah, so this screen was um, uh, designed in-house and uh, manufactured by Birdman the welder. Okay, uh, local in Vancouver maker. Good old Vancouver maker. Yeah. So the uh, wooden uh, frames, if you will, were uh, custom manufactured by Madeira Millwork, and they also did all of the treads in the house, uh, the, the floating treads. So they, the, those two materials match very nicely, and we were trying our best to sort of tie in the um, white oak flooring into that element. But um, I think Birdman really uh, pulled off a great, um, the execution of the metalwork in here is excellent. And um, it really just sort of lends itself to the kind of crisp uh, exterior. And yeah, the architecture, and a which... real sort of Scandinavian feel to it too. What is the wood yeah. that you have in the upright? So the risers um, and also the sort of dividers on the screen there. Yeah, those are white oak as well. I believe okay. that's solid material and um, yeah. Okay, and then yeah. uh, do you wanna take us through some of the spaces you're in then? We can sure. do so we'll go there. over this way and just, you can sort of see the backdrop okay. with, the, um, with the tree in the, behind us. So, you know, that's tree house. Yeah, yeah right. Um, beautiful um, floss fixture here and then future bigger dining room table to come. Yeah. Uh, we did this stepped entrance way, which you'll see. So you come in at one level, and then we get a concrete platform here, and then we step down two steps. So this is great for you know the water that comes off your feet. It's a harder wearing surface than wood, so we um, 
we use that material as a as a sort of entry point uh, to change materials. So you know, you step into the concrete, you take a few steps down onto the beautiful oak flooring. Then we've got um, millwork doors with uh, which ties in some of the wood detailing that happens at the ceiling, and we brought that in and wrapped it right down to the millwork there. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that's an interesting little ceiling detail. And does it wrap along the sort of into the main room as well? It goes all the way across? No, it just sort of is a slice. So it, um, okay. it picks up on the exterior overhang and then we've sort of brought it into the building to capture sort of the front entrance way and make a bit of a arch or a statement that kind of brings the inside out. Okay. Sense. And as we're recording this, it's just before Halloween. And so I see there's some nice little <laughs> Halloween direct. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then we've done beautiful linen shears were done by, um, by Ravi at Cloth Studio. Uh, I thought I could spot Ravi's work there. That's They're gorgeous. They're so beautiful. And, yeah. You know, yeah. It wraps around the corner. So, you know, it kind of makes the space feel kind of a bit cozier. Gorgeous. Yeah. The functionality of this ripple fold is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And so you're, that's in the dining room. And then where yeah. does that lead to as we sort of if move we through sort this of space? pivot around, okay. you can see the beautiful black kitchen. Oh, so wow. Black yeah, that's so striking. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Uh, everything is integrated, so, you know, we've got some storage here, wine fridge, and then, um, yeah, the fridge fridge, however you open that. And is that a matte or a honed finish, like, uh, on the cabinets themselves? Uh, this is a Fenix finish, which is a, is a, um, it's a laminate, but it's, uh, it, it's self healing. So you, if you can't scratch it, it sort of self heals. So it's matte, it, it doesn't show fingerprints, which is fantastic because on a dark surface like this, yeah, uh, you're going to get that constantly if you didn't choose a finish like this. Yeah, of course. And then, and the stone that you've paired with that, what is that? Yeah, this is a black, um, a black marble with white okay. vein. And then we honed the stone again for that sort of very sleek, uh, uh, simple finish. Beautiful. And yeah. then, um, and it also looks like perhaps black fixtures too. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah, we've got everything black. Okay. Everything black. Blacks, even the sink is uh, still granite. And so it sort of disappears, not stainless. So everything is just, uh, yeah, as seamless as possible. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then in behind, so then we flip from the dining room to the kitchen to, I'm guessing, living space as we continue. Yeah, to so living space over here um, has a frame TV. And then we've got the beautiful Anne Sachs tile on the background. Uh, we've got a honed um, uh, absolute black granite on the, on the hearth and then on the surround here. Yeah, yeah that's lovely. Beautiful art and uh, yeah, this is so yeah. lovely. And that frame TV really, I mean, it's so popular for a reason because it's, I mean, TVs have long been the bane of every designer's <laughs> existence, yes. I know. Yes. How do you deal with the big ugly black box in the room? But that's exactly yeah. the way to deal with it. Yeah, it's so smart. And you know, it, uh, it becomes a piece of art, especially when you have these uh, homes that have very little wall space. So you're able yeah. to sort of change that up if you wish. Yeah, absolutely. And so can we see around the corner there too? Does it actually sort of continue on the sure. other side of the stairs? Yeah. So um, there's a little home office space here. Oh, that's so important. Is, <laughs> yeah, a little home office space. And then this is a really special room that's pretty hard to film, but um, yeah, the powder room is quite a nice space. Oh yeah, that's lovely. I see Again, your camera dinner. person trying to stay out of the shop, but that's totally okay. That's Sarah, your fellow <laughs> designer. Hello. <laughs> it's actually cameo appearance. <laughs> that's um, right. Birdman the welder again did a custom uh, custom mirror for us. So it just mounts floor to ceiling really quite seamlessly, which is great. And then again, a floor mounted uh, black faucet with the Blue Bathworks uh, pedestal sink. 
Lovely. So that's, and that's a slightly more unusual to have the floor mounted faucet in a powder room. Often you see that with yeah. a tub, but less likely with a, a sink like that, but it looks great. Yeah, just a little different, you know, a bit hotel-y and um, they wanted something that, that was a little different, you know, and special yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah, we've got a nice little pendant like here, a few bocce plugs and then um, this beautiful stone, this gray Nordic gray stone wraps up and around and you can see it into this little niche where you have we've built in a little bit of storage for, you know, personal items and um, yeah. So yeah. it becomes a, a nice little moment in the bathroom when you have a pedestal sink, you um, have to sometimes forego the uh, storage, but we built that into the space. Yeah, amazing. That's really like, it's very thoughtful to think of it as like, if we're not gonna have storage, where else can we put it? And it's yeah, very smartly done. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, that's yeah, so that's almost everything on the main floor, I'm guessing. Have we looped through that the is it. space? Okay, yeah. <laughs> lovely. It's a city house yeah <laughs> there's no hidden bathrooms anywhere yeah <laughs> bedrooms. Great. and then out back it looks like they also managed to have sort of a lot of indoor out for it's sort of a little we're closed up yeah. for fall I guess but a great sort of again real green space connection to the outdoors yeah you get a pretty good idea of the architecture here um Scott Cosno did this project and okay. so just a beautiful um yeah really beautiful woodworking all the all you know simple scraped and black stained wood all the way across this house and then aloe did the uh, planting nice and do they have a laneway house as well or is that the garage no nope, that's a garage nice well it's lovely very lovely garage <laughs> yep it's lovely <laughs> not fully put together <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. So um, I know you've been doing a fair bit of work in Whistler, I think, in the last while. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, um, we have lots of projects there. Yeah. Well, this was a fantastic tour. Maybe our next one will um, meet for a ski and then do a tour of <laughs> your one of your Whistler places, too. Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Terrific. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Look Great forward to, to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Sort of, yes. <laughs> next time skiing. <laughs> okay.